every day there are people that go out to large retail stores and pick up designer fragrances in hopes of getting compliments. It is super easy to go out to your local retail store, pick up you know a really nice bottle of cologne and spend you know 100 plus dollars on it. But if your goal is to get something that smells good, you don't really have to do that. And wearing a fragrance isn't guaranteed to bring you compliments, but that's for another video. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a few of my favorite masculine fragrances that are relatively cheap. Now, some might say that cheap is relative, so these fragrances are gonna be under 100 bucks. All of these I've worn quite a few times and I've received positive feedback when wearing them. And well, on that note, let's get into it. So the first fragrance that I have here is gonna be one that I picked up at a rack store not that long ago, but I have worn it pretty much consecutively almost every day as a post gym scent. It is quite similar to a fragrance that is very popular here in the United States. It's one that is uh, pretty well known. It's pretty much worn everywhere you go, but in my opinion, it's a bit played out and it's still a bit expensive. Now the fragrance that I have here is just gonna be a little bit different than Invictus. There's a bit of a cleaner, sweeter, almost fruity-like opening in the opening of this fragrance than there is in Invictus. This one, in my opinion, comes off a bit more natural and a bit more pleasing for like one third of the cost. The first one I have here, guys, is gonna be Abercrombie & Fitch, First Instinct Together. So holding this fragrance up here is a bit awkward because it is kind of hard to show you guys this, but you'll see that I've given it a fair bit of wear here. It's gonna be similar to Invictus, but it's gonna have notes of pineapple in the opening that's gonna kind of make it just a little bit different with a more than half decent projection and performance. Now it also falls into one of the styles of fragrances that I talk about a lot here on my channel, which if you are not subscribed, please consider doing so and hit that little red button down below. This fits in the category of fragrances that when I smell it, my mood is just uplifted. There's nothing really about it that says, you know, it's super aromatic, something that's gonna be you know, really get it off like a really appealing sillage, but, but the sweetness in this almost reminds me of something like a bubble gum. Like if you ever tried the gum with the zebra lines on it, this one is kind of like, obviously not in the sense of taste because you don't wanna, you don't wanna spray it in your mouth or anything, but in the sense of the aroma that gives off, like if you were to open up that pack of gum, that's what it smells like and with performance of like four to six hours. The Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct together has made it a fantastic post gym scent. Each time that I walk into a store to get a, like a protein shake after I'm done with my workout, I always get a positive response when I'm wearing this. And again, you guys, that is Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct together, which can probably be found for about 30 bucks online. I got it at TJ Maxx for right around 20 bucks, but I'm sure there are places online where you can get either the same price or maybe even cheaper. Again, y'all, that was Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct together. Now the next fragrance on this list is gonna be one that's gonna be dedicated just for the upcoming cooler weather. And it's quite similar to some other ones that I have in my collection. But this is gonna be the dirt cheap of the dirt cheap while still working. It might lack a little bit in performance, but it works. This is gonna be the bottom shelf of tobacco honey soft fragrances, which I don't even think that honey is a listed note in this fragrance. I think it's leather instead of honey. The second one here that I wanna share with you guys is gonna be Burberry London for Men. This is one of my least favorite bottles here, guys. I don't like the design of this thing. Um, the scent is, you know, it's good, but the bottle here, I just, it's so cheap, this little rag they have on it, I don't like it. But it does have a decent atomizer. It's, like I said, it's really nice. It's a lot like this one right here, guys. If you don't wanna pay the 90 bucks, 200 bucks for this one, and if you don't even know what this guy is, just, just go ahead, just go ahead and get this guy right here. As you'll see me talk a lot about this one right here. But if anything over 100 bucks is gonna be out of your budget, and something that you can't really ever think about picking up, here you go. It's Burberry London, guys. It's gonna be your tobacco fragrance, your sweet tobacco fragrance with a very masculine dry down, but that dry down is gonna last the longest, because like I said, this one kind of suffers a bit in performance. It doesn't necessarily perform the longest, but it's nice. And it is small enough that you can carry it in your pocket and kind of just take it with you on the go. I do just really wish they would change the bottle of this thing. It's just, is it keeping it warm? I don't know what's going on here. Again, y'all, that is Burberry London. And next on this list is gonna be a celebrity fragrance. Now this next one's gonna be one that's gonna be pretty much worn just on the warmer weather days. Not gonna be one that's gonna be worn on super you know, cold, super you know, negative 30 degree kind of, kind of days which we don't even get that cold down here in Georgia, but this is gonna be one that you're not gonna to wanna to wear on those really cold days. What I have here is basically gonna be a blend of three things. And I'm not referring to a Dua, so Muslim don't get any grand scheme kind of ideas here. It's gonna be a blend of Dolce Bona Light Blue, John Vervedas Argent Pure, and Lacoste Blanc. Put those into your little mixer, shake it up a little bit, and it comes out with Conscious Conversations by the Dolan Twins. Which this is my least favorite bottle to show in front of the camera here, because it just straight blurs it out. But look in the bottle here, you'll see where it says Wake Heart and Conscious Conversations here. Take this off here, got a nice little blue cap there. The blue side there, it kind of reminds me a lot of the uh, Jimmy Choo Man Ice bottle, but this one looks like a legitimate ice cube. Like I said, in the air, you're gonna get that Dolce Bona Light Blue, you're gonna get that Java Vader's Argent Pure, and you're really gonna get a lot of this too. Pretty much the white florals that are in this, you're gonna get pretty heavily in this. 
and for it being an EDC concentration, it performs pretty well. This is one that I tried, you know, wearing after a shower because I thought it was gonna be worn off in like 20 minutes, but it surprised me, made it like six hours into my workday. It projected well and got a ton of positive feedback, which I was not expecting at all with this. When I first smelled this, I thought that I may have gotten mixed up with like a girl's perfume. Like legit, I had to go back and revisit the page. It says unisex, but it does lean a bit feminine. So if you're one of the guys that's like, oh, I'm only gonna wear leather, I'm only gonna wear things that smell, you know, hyper masculine for whatever reason, you won't wanna reach for this one. Like if the thought of wearing something that smells kind of like a garden messes with your masculinity, this wouldn't be what you wanna wear. But if you wanna smell good and complimented, it's a good one. But the key to this one is that it is under hundred bucks. Again, y'all, that is Conscious Conversations by Wakeheart. And next on this list, it's gonna come from a indie house that also makes clones, but this could be one of their original creations. And just based off of the name of the fragrance, it's gonna be kind of telling for like what it is, what kind of fragrance it is, the kind that you should expect. And with a name like Ran After My Car, it's gonna pull in a ton of compliments. Which brings me to the name, which is gonna be, there's another one guys, I can't really show the camera straight on because it will blur it out. It says R-A-M-C by Genre Parfum up there. What this is gonna be kind of similar to in a way, is gonna be this guy here. This is Creed Aventus, guys. It's gonna be kind of similar to this, but a bit louder. It projects better and lasts a lot longer than this one does. Which even for me, the Aventus gets like eight hours out of. This week is on you until you wash it off. 12 hours, 14 hours, 16 hours. This is gonna be on you until you wash it off. Absolute beast mode of a fragrance. This is one that I cannot use my normal seven amount of sprays with because it will be too much. Two to three sprays of this and you're good to go. Now what I get in opening this is gonna be a strong amount of musk and fruit notes. Now the opening of this is gonna be a bit tart, maybe a bit too sweet, but the sweetness and the tartness really dials back and turns into one of the best, best sillage, best you know, aroma fragrances that I have in my entire collection. The RAMC is gonna be something that can be worn year round. There's not really no scent that make it you know, only worn in the summer or like only worn in the winter. Something that can be really worn you know, year round. In the summer or really in the high heat, it's gonna be one that you're gonna to wanna to spray lightly. So like in the winter, if I go with like three sprays of this, in the summer I'm gonna go with one to two, just because that will be plenty of this fragrance. And again, you guys, that was R-A-M-C, which just ran after my car by John R. Parfums. Now guys, if you would, before we go any further, if you would just give me a little thumbs up down there and maybe comment down below if you tried out any of these fragrances so far. The next fragrance on this list is gonna be also one of the uh, inspired by fragrances. I don't know what it's inspired by, but it's gonna be pretty similar to ones that I've already mentioned on this list. Last winter, this was probably my second most complimented fragrance that I wore the whole season. It has a nice blueberry note in the opening that's accompanied by some like tobacco notes and some sweet honey-like notes. And like the genre performs, it lasts forever. So this is not one that you're gonna wanna wear if you're, gonna, if you're planning on you know, reapplying after like lunch. This is one that will give you the full 12 hour workday. The next thing I wanna share with you guys is gonna go to Happy Land Signature by Happy Land Studios. Which y'all, I'm about to do something that I have not done this channel in a long time. Probably since last year. I'm gonna show you guys the atomizer on Happy Land bottle. It's gonna smell like, it's gonna, mm. it is, oof. it's good, it's real good. It's like a masculine tobacco, vanilla, blueberry. It's, it's like baking a pie and then you walk into a house that's baking a pie and you smell this. It lasts forever. I'm probably gonna have to wash the clothes that are like sitting here for tomorrow just because it's basically on the clothes now. They're gonna smell good, but they're gonna smell like this. Uh, so, I don't know. Again guys, that was Happy Land Signature. And next we're gonna go to a fragrance that's gonna be really worn on like the warmer days, like really hot days, or in the gym, after a gym kind of scent. It's gonna be a bitter like orange fragrance and a very fun fragrance, if my dad. I think it pulls in compliments because it's such a realistic like orange note, a blood orange note to be exact. That and rhubarb. You get Azaro Fun, which when I got this, which when I got this, I did not expect for it to be, you know, such a heavily complimented fragrance. But turns out it is. It turns out to be a very nice, semi-long lasting, not the longest lasting, but it is very cheap. I think I got this for like 12 bucks at a rack store. This with the other ones. But like I said, it has a nice blood orange note. Lasts a long time, semi-long time at least. And people around me have really enjoyed when I wore this. Again, guys, that is a Zaro Fun. Now, lastly, but not least, it's gonna be a fragrance that's a staple in a lot of our collections. One that a lot of us own just the, uh, the flanker of this fragrance, the EDP of this fragrance. I feel like this one gets kind of overlooked, overshadowed, but for me personally, it performs well. It performs on par with the flanker. Honestly, it might be a bit more versatile than the flanker. This is a sweet, seductive, there's a bit of tobacco in there as well. It's gonna be something that, the opening's gonna be bright. It's gonna be something that is also sweet. It's gonna be something that is gonna reach people that are across the room from you. 
It's not something that's gonna be super unique, but it is gonna be this a bit different than somebody else who's wearing like Nautical Voyage or Aqua Digio. Wearing this has a bit more oomph behind it than that. This last one here, y'all, can be found for under 30 bucks on FragranceNet. This last one I have here, guys, is gonna be called Dolce Gabbana, the one. Like I said, it's gonna be a bit different than your normal Aqua Digio. It's gonna have a bit more oomph behind it. It's gonna be one that can be even like a signature scent. And for a lot of this has been that for a while. There are a lot of people that wear this as their daily driver. And some use the flanker as like their date night kind of scent. And guys, like I was saying at the beginning, do not go out to your local retail store. You can find these all online for a significantly cheaper price than you would go in in there. I do have two very reliable sites down below if you want to check them out. Both Kingdom Fragrances and Bimba Fragrances are linked down below. Guys, that last one again was Doshi Gibbana, the one. And guys, if you have tried any of these fragrances on this list, comment down below and let me know. If not, let me know. Let the people that are kind of scrolling down there, let them know. But guys, that's that. Uh, like I always say, keep it gent, love your scent, and I'll see you all next time.